Hillary Duff, but Hillary Duff, but the moment we've been waiting for. Ta chow. What a wonderful world. light <laughs> guys welcome to another video i'm using this ring light so you're gonna be able to see it in my glasses but that's just how it's gonna have to be if we want good lighting it's gonna reflect because i cannot wear contacts that's a story for another day but i just can't so i'm stuck with glasses my whole life unless i choose to get you know lace lasik or something i wanted to start off this video with sharing what i have sold at the antique mall if you didn't know i have an antique mall booth at the old strathcona antique mall here in edmonton alberta yesterday they had a parking lot sale so there was a lot more customers than normal and i sold four items which is rare for one single day and i'm just gonna share with you guys um some other ones that i sold that you might not know about let's get into it if you guys saw in the last video i went and i restocked my booth with like a hello kitty clock a twilight magazine i put some more power rangers stickers in there and surprisingly that twilight magazine sold the very next day both the twilight magazines i added have sold so that is very exciting but then i sold the one of the hannah montana mix max sticks they're like the Disney Channel MP3 player type things. I'm going to put pictures here so you can see. Um, I sold that, so that is very exciting. Then I also sold a 2007 magazine with posters. I don't know if it was Twist, Bop, J14, what one it was. I need to find more of those, but they're so hard to come by. So I'm a little nervous when I run out. Then the four things I sold yesterday was a Winnie the Pooh plush from 1997. Then a Star Wars puzzle, which I'm a little confused about because I don't remember having a Star Wars puzzle, but I'm thinking it either could be my dad's that they put under my code or he snuck it in there without me knowing. I don't know, but I sold some kind of Star Wars puzzle. Then a Star Wars 1997 Giga Pet. It was like a little R2-D2 Tamagotchi electronic keychain. I've had that forever. That sold. And then lastly, the Hello Kitty clock that I literally just added on Friday sold, which good to know that people like Hello Kitty. So I'm going to look for more of that kind of stuff, but that's a little update. Um, I can get into the numbers here if you guys really want to know about antique booth life and vintage toys and how well that works so my dad and I have share a booth so we both pay for half monthly we pay $92 each so it's like a hundred and eighty something dollars all together and so far it is June 12th so we're almost halfway through the month I've already made $336.79 so I've already made three times my rent which I'm literally blown away by I did not expect that last month I only made uh, just below 200 and I've already made I've already made $244 I've almost doubled what I made last month Wow okay so that is the full on information about the antique booth if you have I'm just saying this in case you've ever started thinking about wanting to sell vintage stuff in an antique booth specifically vintage toys or if you're just curious to see what kind of money I'm making with the antique booth I just want to be fully transparent with you guys and I am very happy that it is successful so far this is just behind the scenes of stuff I have to do as a vintage collector slash seller is cleaning stuff so I literally just picked this up this Yu-Gi-Oh like magazine but it is filthy so this is just like behind the scenes footage of me cleaning up items that I find. We love that. We love cleaning gross items so much. <laughs> well, good morning. It is a rainy, rainy Thursday morning. I am going thrifting because I just feel like I haven't for a while. We're gonna go to three thrift stores. Then we're gonna go to the antique booth because I need to add a couple things. I want to add a couple Mary Kate and Ashley dolls because this girl has been asking if I can put them in my booth because she's going to be coming into town and I said of course I can do that. So I'm going to be putting a couple of those dolls in there, some other stuff that I've shown you from garage sales and that's pretty much what we're doing today so let's just see what we can get at the first thrift store. A whole bunch of Funko Pops. 
Did you guys know a Lizzie McGuire one is coming out? I am so excited for that. But I just don't know enough about Funko Pops. What is this? Interesting. And plus they look a bit faded. Okay, I just found this one. This one's actually cool. Like Gremlins. Wow, I wonder. I'm gonna actually look this one up. Yeah, she doesn't go for too much, so I'm gonna leave her behind, but that's really cool. What is this? The community. Like a coloring book almost. This is cool. It looks like it goes by itself or something. Kind of creepy. I feel like I always find fun clocks, like SpongeBob High. It's pretty scratched though. 2007. Okay, this is cute. It's like a little diary almost. You can like fill it out. It comes with stickers too. The Canadian Wildlife Activity Book. Oh my gosh. Why do I always find Disney Channel DS games? I didn't get that my scene DVD because it was so scratched, but have you guys seen this? Beware if you're if you're gonna look this up. Beware. But it's wild. Oh my gosh, a kid's phone and beeper combo. Look at this little cutie. I don't know what year it is, but I love it. A lot of people have been asking me to find Monster High dolls, and I did, so I'm gonna pick this one up and hope for the best. I would get these, but this big bird nose is nasty, and this Care Bear doesn't have the tag still attached to show what year it is, so I don't know. I don't know what this is, but it's like a dinosaur that transforms. You can like put this shell up and it becomes this like fluffy dinosaur or you can like put its head down and it becomes not. What is this? I have never heard of this in my life. Juice box, personal media player. And I read the back and it's like, turn off boring and experience awesome. Portable entertainment anywhere you want. Just pop in a juice box, juice wear chip and start drinking in cool, delicious TV tunes and more. Pardon me. How do you do it though? Requires Mattel MP3 starter kit. Well, it is so rainy. What is going on? I mean, we honestly desperately need the rain. I'm just not used to it because we haven't had rain in like what feels like forever. So let's see. What did I get? Okay, so that juice, that bug juice thing I just showed you, not bug juice, juice box. Was it bug juice? No, juice box, whatever. Um, that was cool. After I filmed that, I actually found like the plug in to charge it in your car so I'm like hey I could like buy it and make it a combo and put it on eBay but it was like eight dollars and then the charger the car charger was like five dollars so I'm like eh, don't really want to risk it not knowing plus there were so many listed on eBay that's kind of what I found on eBay if there's a lot of listings for it like odds are yours is not going to be the one chosen I didn't get that um but I did get that monster high doll this is the first ever monster high doll I've ever gotten it's from 2008 a lot of Monster High dolls actually go for quite a bit of money. This one, when I looked it up, doesn't go for too much. Like, I think she goes to for maybe $15. So I thought, why not? Either I'm going to put this in my antique booth or online. We'll see. I like to put dolls like this in my antique booth. Plus, people on my antique booth TikTok were asking about Monster High. So we'll see. And then I picked up Our Lips Are Sealed, Mary Kate and Ashley. And it's literally sealed. It's sealed, so that's really cool. I'm gonna sell this on, on my Etsy shop because you know it's gonna be in pristine condition. So yeah, okay, let's head over to the next stop. We're gonna get there right as it opens, which is always nice. This is a store where I found Lizzie McGuire once and I always have like slight hope that I'll find her here again, but I doubt it, doubt it, doubt it. What are you? Okay, let me just do a quick look before. Oh, precious. A little stitch. This is also where I found all of those Care Bears that one day. So that was a good day. 
I have not found a magic eight ball in so long. 350, so I'm thinking maybe grab this. This is so cute, it's from 2002. It's a little Cheerios activity kit. Um, This was literally hiding under that. And I wasn't even gonna look under there, but I was like, oh, might as well look. Are you kidding me? What the heck? This little clock is so cute. This is a little tiny pocket speaker. It's like a boom box. It's from the year 2000. So I think you would put it like to your MP3 player or iPod and then everyone can hear your songs. <laughs> I think it's been like forever since I had a good thrift store haul. Oh my goodness. Okay, first of all, the Magic 8 Ball. I think I've sold two or three of these in the past. This one works really good. Um, I always test them to make sure that they have enough water inside, that they're in good shape. This one is so... So exciting. Then I did pick up this like 2007 Dora the Explorer catch a star little activity thing. Yeah, um, I did get that little Cheerios kids 2002 cards with the little figure. I'm going to put this in my antique booth because I don't know. It actually goes for quite a bit on eBay. So I thought maybe I'll try. Well, maybe I'll try on eBay first because there was only one other listing for this. So we'll see. And then the moment we've been waiting for, I can't believe it. Spice Girls in the box. Someone I think was definitely hiding this because it was under those Just Dance mats and I never move stuff. That's my lesson I have learned today. Always check under things because I normally wouldn't have moved that kind of stuff and I would have just browsed and kept going. But I was like, no, let me dig and see if there's anything. I'm glad I dug because freaking ginger spice. Are you kidding me? This is gonna go in my antique booth just because I sold all of the in-box dolls that I had and I've, I've been desperately looking for more. So this will be in there. Very excited about this. If this was baby spice in the box, I'd be tempted to keep her because baby spice is my favorite. But okay, so what time is it? I need to look. What time is it? It's not even 10.30. So we're going to go to Value Village first and then we'll go to the antique mall. So let's head to Value Village. Actually, I need to, I got a little survey. So I need to do that so I can get $2 off of my next purchase. So let's do that quickly. I'm thinking about getting this, but I do not know. It's a little Hannah Montana notebook. A whole bunch of Mighty Beans, but for $15 and also just like a barbie little pencil case but i don't know the design of it is giving like off brand so i can't tell if it's legit barbie or not ka chow this is giving wintertime barbie wow a whole bunch of little kelly's and a brad saw but she has no feet i Oh, I might get this, but it's $8. I do have a $2 off coupon though. Just saw there's another brat, so I'm definitely gonna get this. A little bag of McDonald's toys. I'm kind of thinking of maybe getting this for my nostalgic loot scoop. Look at Grimace, this is so cute. But I don't know if it's worth it. I'm actually terrified of that monkey. This guy from Lilo and Stitch is cool. The sky is falling. <laughs> Oh, I'd get this, but it's in rough shape and this is broken. Okay, this isn't in the greatest condition, but what? I, I can't leave it. There are a whole bunch of Goosebumps DVDs, but I just don't really know if they're worth it, to be honest. Oh, those ones are kind of cool though. And there's another one down here. So I don't know what to do. There's a whole bunch of like rug rats too. Oh, this was at the other store. What the heck? It has been one of the best days for thrifting in such a long time, as I already said, but like, why are both of these stores giving? So let me just try to show you everything. I picked up this Jimmy Neutron DVD because it's worth more than the average DVD. I also thought it'd be fun to play this in the background while packing orders one day. Though, guys, I have not been live much on TikTok because I just haven't been getting orders. I've been trying so hard to market my shop and post about my shop 
and and do all of this stuff and and it's just really slow i think summertime is really slow for my store so that's why i haven't been live to like pack orders because there have been no orders to pack um then i got another magic eight ball are you kidding me that's so weird that there's double in this like both of the stores it freaks me out when that happens honestly i pay i did grab that bag of the mcdonald's little plushes because my nostalgic loot scoop just needs stuff like this oh okay this is the big thing i picked up another cover to cover game but there's only one magazine and i bought it to just sell the magazine on its own so i've just been desperately looking for more magazines and i wish it had all four of them guys if you live in edmonton i have this exact game in my antique booth and it comes with four magazines it's like a magazine game so if you've been wanting magazines there's four of them in this one at the antique booth but i bought this one because it wasn't complete so i can just sell the single magazine that is inside of it then i did pick up some trolls dolls because every time i go to the antique mall i see trolls dolls i'm not a fan of them i didn't grow up with them but people are always buying them so i thought i would give it a try this one's super cute a little like valentine's day one love it I'm not sure if this was a mistake or not because I literally paid $8 for it and the only reason why I wanted it was for the two Bratz dolls. So there's one in there without shoes on but there's one girl in the back with shoes. I don't even know what that's worth. It could have been the biggest mistake ever. The moment you're probably waiting for. Ah! I did pick up the Hilary Duff backpack even though it's not in the greatest condition. It is very worn. It is very very loved but her picture is in very, very good condition. So that's kind of what sold me on it is that her, her picture herself is great. I mean, I'm sure somebody will love this and will know how to clean it up and will take good care of it. So I will be selling this probably for a cheaper price, obviously, but like, ah, Hillary Duff, Hillary Duff. Wow. And like, okay, you know how I had like this Raven Baxter kind of see into the future kind of feeling to go look under the just dance mats and i found the spice girls doll where well i had that feeling to kaylin like just go look at all the bags i know i i don't like looking at the bags sometimes it's very time consuming but my body was like kaylin just go look at the bags so i did oh and there was hillary duff there so trust your gut trust your instincts trust your feelings okay now i feel like i've been doing so much today now we have to head over to the antique mall it's already 11 17 it opened at 11 we're gonna head over there add some of the items and then figure out what else to do with my life okay so i added this 2012 barney doll i also added these two mary Kay nashley dolls that i had in my own collection so i sadly parted with them the mary kate nashley sweet 16 book set the little mary kate nashley in action dolls and then i put in that Yu-Gi-Oh! magazine. Somebody completely wrecked this pig toy. They completely tried to take it out of the packaging. Don't know why, but I had to fix it. Okay, well, I just went and organized the booth. We'll see if I get any sales today. It's open later today, so that means more people come after work so fingers crossed and this might be it for the video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment and also don't forget i have new merch available in um or on my website so some cute pastel sweaters check those out and i'll see you in my next one bye if it's up to me you are